Hello Internet and welcome to Council Plays The Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb Edition version 1.48. This is actually the uh, first episode. Uh, so a while back I uh, picked up the expansion to The Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb and I actually haven't gotten around to playing it uh, until today. So I decided to just start over fresh and play from the beginning. Um, if you look at our you know, collection we've got absolutely nothing, stats, nothing. So this will be uh, from the beginning. Um, as such, we do only have the one character of Isaac, so let's begin. I'll get my mouse out of the way real quick. There we go. So uh, for those of you who haven't seen The Binding of Isaac played, it's a twin-stick shooter, so we move around with the uh, WASD and shoot with the arrow keys. Then we can use a uh, shifter E to place a bomb and a space bar item if we had that. Um, so yeah, we'll begin. I'll explain a little bit as we're playing. Uh, so basically, it's, uh, like I said, it's a twin-stick shooter. Oh, that was really bad damage. These spiders are kind of annoying. As I take another hit, a really good start. Got a key there. Um, all the levels are randomly generated. Um, there are various room layouts that will be the same, but as a part, or, uh, as far as where those are in the level and what enemies I have in them and such will be different. Also, all the drops are 100% different, so this game has a lot of replay value. Now I am shooting that poop in order to sometimes get items out of it. Alright, so I'll just come here and kill these guys. Yeah, so the way it works is I will uh, transgress or transverse each floor here. Fighting my way through. And here we have an. Oh, okay. So this is an item room, as you can see on the map. It looks like the, uh, the crown. Um, there's one per floor. And it gives me an item, either some sort of a passive upgrade like this one, which ups my attack speed to really, really high, but decreases. And we'll trade one bomb for two bombs. Um, and trades, like, absolutely no range for it. So it's not a bad upgrade in the beginning, I just have to be a little careful now. So I'll finish that off and we'll keep moving along. Um, on our left, you can see the boss room. Um, if you see that little scent looking thing, on the right, oh, the tick, that's fine. Uh, that's a trinket. Um, it does, all trinkets do randomly passive things, so that makes it so I can't pick up any trinkets, and then it makes it so bosses have less health when I fight them, I think. Like I said, I had played the Binding of Isaac a bit. I was uh, by no means a star player, um, so I know what a few of the items do, and I have a basic grasp of gameplay. Um, before I uh, restarted here, um, oh, this is going to be really hard to fight this guy actually. I get right up on him. Some spiders here. I actually, should probably have shut. Oh, geez, I'm getting rolled here. So we can use our lover's card to make two hearts, which we can use to heal ourselves back to full here. Hopefully, survive this fight. This would be a piss poor way to start the game. Dying on the first row. Oh, god. No. Okay, so we do survive we do survive the very first floor, and we get a uh, range up, which actually, in our current situation, isn't bad. As you can see, that pretty much doubled our range there, so that's actually awesome for us. Normally, range upgrades aren't that good, but okay, we'll actually stop a second. We can, uh, if we pause the menu, you can see on the left we have uh, movement speed, how fast he is. I'll use the mouse real quick, and then we have our attack speed, and then we have our damage, and then we have our range. So there's various uh, stats. Um, yeah, you generally get stats from either the item room, as you can see we found another one down here, or uh, the boss room, or sometimes they're just littered throughout the levels. So this is just uh, an HP upgrade, as you can see in the upper right we now have one extra heart container. It's kind of like The Legend of Zelda, where if you find a heart on the ground but you don't have enough containers, you just have to leave it there. So being able to uh, increase our maximum number of hearts is always a good thing. back once again to where I was before I uh, reset everything. I beat Mom about five or six times, or I should say uh, Mom's Heart five or six times. I would never beaten Satan though, so this will be a nice learning experience for me. Alright, and that uh, gray heart you see up there is a spirit heart. It's uh, temporary, kind of like armor I guess you could think of it. When it's gone, it's gone, but it protects our core red hearts. Okay. Oh, that was bad damage. 
so I took quite a break from playing it. Got really into League of Legends lately. So I'm gonna relearn a little bit how to get hit in the face, I guess. Alright, so then we'll swing to the right here. Oh, that room, um, if we step on... Actually, if we have a heart over here, it might be worth... No, it's not worth a bomb. If you step on that, you take a heart's worth of damage, and then randomly it will give you some sort of an item. I think the golden chest is pretty much all I've seen come out of it. So unless I find a lot more hearts on this floor, it's not really going to be worth uh, picking up there. Alright. Yeah, so we got a really nice rate of fire we could use a little bit of ooh, damage. That was poor. So, continue to swing through here. Fight a lot of spiders. Jesus. Oh. And we're already to our boss room. So let's go for it. Um, we'll let the cinematic play out this time. So we are fighting Pin. Who's a little, uh, little worm type guy who'll jump out and then go back down. And as you can see, the boss is always starting with lower health, and we do heal a heart when we enter a boss room because of that tick that we have, uh, the passive item. This is actually one of the easier bosses, so I shouldn't have too much of a problem with him. And then he will pop up and do a little bit of damage. And he hit himself. So Radioactive Spider has appeared in the basement. Um, since we are starting over... Alright, we got tears plus HP up, and I think it might do damage too. I'm not sure on that one. I got a pretty good idea. There's also uh, two secret rooms on every floor. One of them is usually surrounded by other rooms. But that wasn't it, so I'm not going to waste my second bomb looking. Um, but they usually have uh, money, sometimes an item in them. So it's always good to look. No, but uh, as you play through the game, you will unlock more and more uh, items that you'll be able to pick up. Some of them are good. Some of them are terrible. I think Radioactive Spider gives you triple shot when you get it. So I'd be firing slower, but more, which would probably be decent. So this is a, like a mob trap room, I guess. Uh, basically, they have something in here that we can choose to get, and if we do, door closes and we have to fight three ways of enemies. What I just picked up was uh, ten bombs, so pretty worth it there. Ten bombs for hopefully maybe a little bit of damage at the worst. Oh, these guys are annoying. Um, these guys will chase me around the room, and after they take a certain amount of damage, they will revert into a little ooze state which uh, if I don't kill them in, they will get back up. However, when they stand back up, they will have substantially less health, so it will be easier to kill the second time. So, uh, these guys are a pain in the ass, because your tears knock them around, and I'm not very good at dodging it, so... <laughs> Four bullets on the screen is a bit too much for me to handle right now. So there we go, we got two more bombs. We got 11, or what, 12 bombs for half a spirit heart? That's pretty good. I will be able to definitely find the secret room on this floor. You know, as long as something terrible doesn't happen. These guys are pretty easy. Um, the ones with the faces will spit at me. These little ones will just run around. So, little to no threat there. Okay, these are pills. Um, they have a random effect, which I don't know yet. As you can see in the upper right, it says Q question mark. So we'll hit that. And that's a tears up. So that was a good, uh, a good pill. And since we uh, took that pill, we now know what it does for the rest of the run. Um, pills randomize each run, so if I get that same pill again on a different run, I won't know what it does. This secret room could be right here, so we will check it out. Right, and it is indeed here, and it has nine cents in for us. So if we get one more cent, we uh, will be able to visit the shop and possibly get something good. Um, the shops generally have something for about 15 cents. Uh, you want to wait. Um, sometimes there'll be things on sale randomly for half. So you can go in with 7 cents if you have like an abundance of keys. Or if you have, there's an item called the Steam Sale in this game that automatically boosts everything down to... Right, so we'll try another pill here. Speed up. So we've gotten really good luck on our pills so far. Two good ones. And uh, yeah, so we're moving pretty quick now. It'd be nice to pick up a little bit of damage. The boss rooms. Or another sense so we can check out the shop and see if we can't get like a map or. Oh, another spirit heart. Fantastic. I should probably should have saved that and then gone to that. That room up above that looks like uh, the red star and the uh, moon, the half moon. Now, basically, I can walk through the door, take some damage. Uh, there's usually a couple of red chests, one or two in there, which can give us anything from a good item to nothing, a bomb that's trying to blow us up, but it does cost you a, uh, a heart to get in there and get out, so it's not really worth it, unless you have health laying around, which we would have. 
Yeah, uh, oh, I should have explained that too. There's uh, these tinted rocks, these gray rocks, just hanging out. Spoon bender, I think that's homing shots. Yep, homing shots, now our tears will bend. Um, so yeah, you can blow those up. Uh, they'll have sometimes an item in them that'll make you do more damage. Sometimes they'll uh, just have these uh, spear arts in them, so let's fight the next guy. So we got uh, Peep, which is uh, this fellow. He will shoot these uh, things at us, and he'll also jump into the sky and shoot things at us. When we do a third and then two-thirds of his health, his eyes pop out and bounce around the room. I can't hurt his eyes. I can just try not to take damage from him. But it looks like fighting him is a little harder than anything else right now. It's okay. I just need to escape this without taking too much damage. I've already lost one of my spirit hearts. Or spirit heart and a half. Ow. Jeez, I am doing terrible here. So, let's see if we can just finish him without taking any more damage. Oh, and I stepped on this creep that he was leaving behind, so that was kind of poor. But we did get rotten meat, and we will be back up to full health. So, not terrible. Um, continue down to the next floor since we found the uh, first secret room. The second secret room, um, you basically find by accident. It is just hidden wherever it wants to be. It's kind of a pain to find. Okay. But it can have items in it. It can have a bunch of hearts in it. Sometimes has, uh... Do that thing so he will come in here. Alright, so remote detonator. Uh, basically, if I have a bomb on the, I think on the ground, I can hit spacebar to blow it up, and it also gives me five bombs, I think is what it does. So, it's like if I, I'll just use a bomb to show you after this fight. So, I think a secret room's up here just for funsies, so we'll put a bomb down and then, does it stay forever? It does stay forever, so then I hit spacebar, and I can blow it up. So it lets me have a little bit more control over my bombs. So not a great item, but the five extra bombs will be helpful, and I will be able to use those bombs on a boss fight if I want to. Or a tough room. If I want to get kind of offensively minded, I can do that, since I do have 14 right now. I'll probably end up using them on the bomb fight, because I'm really not very good at that boss. <coughs> oh, as I take a hit. Not so great. Let's kill him. So yeah, we do have 14 bombs, so we will just blow that up. Oh, and I... F oh, can't pick that up because... Tick. So, this is a red chest. It gave me two pills. I don't know what this one does. And this one is speed up, so we will take the speed up pill. And why not? Let's keep testing our luck. We'll grab this. Health down, so that was really bad for us. Um, but in the future, at least in this run, we'll know which pill that is, so we'll be able to avoid it. But that did knock me down to five hearts, which is not that great. Oh, okay. And they found this, the other secret room for me. So that's all sorts of fun. In the great scheme of things, I would rather have not found that secret room. Because I would not trade speed for health. Considering I already have basically enough right now. So yeah, this is just your basic slot machine. I can play it sometimes get items. We'll just blow it up for some money. I probably should have played it for keys is what I should have done, because... Oh, this room again. Did it a little bit better this time, though. I think... In order to go to that room down below, I have to be at, uh, I think, one heart or less. And you fight three, bo uh, three bosses, but you do get a boss item out of it, so it's like a stronger version with a better payoff, but a lot more risk, because you do have to be at really low health to go in there. And unfortunately, we know that the secret room is not over there, so we can't even bomb our way in. Alright, so we got the fool, which is... Teleportation. Ah, crap. Well, hey, let's get absolutely... Well, let's, let's finish this floor before I decide to get crazy. Because as of right now, I'm only like two hearts away from going to that room. If I can find any more health pickups on this floor, we're gonna, we're gonna. Yeah, anyways, the fool is a teleportation card. Um, they're kind of like uh, the tarot cards are kind of like the pills, just a one-time use item. Except they always have the same effect. Depending. Oh my god, two hearts. Okay, so we are gonna do this. Um, we'll clear out the rest of the floor first. I don't want to take any unnecessary damage that I don't. Well, here, we'll check the whole rest of the floor. Because we can actually get a little bit tricky here. 
And there's an arcade over here too. That's kind of cool. So this could actually work out quite well. So there's the shop. We're gonna get real crazy here in a moment. Kill that guy. Okay, we don't need that heart. Okay, this is gonna be perfect. So we use a coin to get into this place. Oh! There's a heart by the door. Crap. Oh, we'll try to get a key first. That's the main goal here. We can get a key, everything will be good. Really need that key. Alright, cool. Pretty fly. Oh, uh, that just gives us an orbiting fly that can sometimes... Oh my god, 10 cents. Cool. They can sometimes absorb projectiles, so it's a little bit like a really iffy shield. Shouldn't rely on it, but if it procs, it'll help me out. Get some more money. We really want that key, though. I'll just keep playing this for a little bit. Nothing. A bomb. Not bad. Put us up to 14. It's actually good because we will be using a few bombs here in a second, so we nice to have a little bit of a surplus. Come on, just give us a key. Another bomb. Can't complain about that. Another pretty fly? Wow. That's good. Uh, this is... don't know, actually. Let's find out. Bombs are key! Hmm... Well... So that switched our bombs and our keys around. Gave us 15 keys. I would have rather had some bombs. Because it would be nice to have a few. Alright, well. Let's do this. So I think I have to take that heart when I'm leaving here. Which I don't want to do. IV bag. Portable blood bank. So I think I can just hit space bar and just use it like... Yeah, I have to use it. Crap. So yeah, so I can ping myself with it. Okay. So this will actually be useful for what we're going to do. So in order to go into this room, we have to have uh, one heart or less. So we'll ping ourselves down, open the blood bank, come in here. Oh, this is mom's coin purse. That's okay. We'll grab this. Use the floor to... Oh, gotta get this. Use the fool to teleport out. And then that door should be open with no enemies in it. Nice. So, we should go heal up in case this is a health down pill. Oh, wait, no. No, if it's a bad trip, it'll heal us, so we'll keep it. Tears down, so that's not good. So, we know what that is, we don't want that. And this is a speed up, so we'll take that. So, I was expecting a lot more out of that, but. It could have been worse, I guess. Alright, so we'll come over here. Grab the health. Grab the health. Oh, we do have the key, so we can visit the shop still. I would have felt really dumb if I would have forgotten that. Maybe we'll get something good in the shop. We are really fast right now. Almost too fast. Oh, greed. Okay, so... That's unfortunate. Greed can sometimes show up. If he hits me, I take damage and lose money but he'll explode into either a lot of money or uh, an, uh, the, steam sh the steam sale item I was talking about earlier that reduces everything to half price. So I just have to avoid him, trying to take too much damage, and then finish him off real quick. Okay, and he did give me the steam sale. So that'll be useful on later floors when we go to the shop. We do have enough keys to where it won't be a problem. So grab the steam sale. We don't have a bomb, though. Hopefully we don't need it to get to that heart up here. Oh, and we don't. Okay, so we are at full health going in here. And uh, let's just fight the boss, whoever it is. So, the hollow. So these guys are kind of annoying. They can bounce around the room. They don't, uh, they aren't affected by um, terrain at all. They're kind of like the peeps eyes we fought earlier, except much bigger. And more dickish. I think they move faster, too. So we just, if we just kind of chill here and don't let them get too close to us, we should be okay. Just attack them when they get to the top here. If we pay attention, we should be fine. Just, okay, so we knocked a little bit of him off. And we killed one! So there is absolutely no excuse for us to get hit right now. Spelunker. So we've unlocked a new item in the basement. That is a garbage item, though. I do not want it. 
Um, basically, it just means on future playthroughs we'll be able to find those items. Um, and I don't think we need anything else. Oh, uh, no, if we hit the... Let's see what happens. Will it take away our spirit heart? It won't. Okay, so we do make a little bit of money there. And we'll go down to the next floor. Alright. I probably should have... Oh god. So these guys will fire if they see you, they'll fire in the directions. Just gotta pay attention to where everybody's located and whether or not they're firing yet. Okay, so another sense. Yeah, like I said, um, there are. A, oh, I should not have taken damage from that. There are a variety of characters in this game. Um, I just have Isaac to start off with. We'll see if I. Let's see what's in the shop. Garbage. Okay, so we'll take a bomb for three cents, and we'll take the nine volt. It lets our spacebar item charge quicker. Unfortunately for us, the spacebar item we have doesn't need to charge right now. So we're getting that as a future investment, hoping that we will get a better spacebar item or one that at least needs to charge in the future. As you can see, that turret will shoot at me until everything in the room dies, which is a pain in the ass. We'll come up here. And just Spider Town, USA. Ah, I'm taking a little bit of damage so far. Is there Red Heart in that shop? I'll have to check later. So we'll do. Yeah, see that? That's another trinket which I can't pick up because I have the tick. But the tick is good um, by itself. One of the downsides is you can't pick up any other trinkets. Uh, which is important for reasons we'll get into in a, in a while. Um, it's not going to be important for quite a bit, so we won't really deal with it. Yeah, um, anyways, I was talking about other champions, or other characters, rather, you can play as. You unlock them by doing various things. Uh, uh, this fire shoot at me, so I wanted to evade a little bit. Um, one of them means you have to pick up, I think it's like 60-something money in one run. Uh, for one, you have to get a certain number of hearts. Like, you have to have seven hearts total in one run. Um, one of them, you have to do two deals with the devil in one run, which, uh, I'll explain that right now, I guess. Basically, if you do really well on the floor, like, don't take hardly any damage, there's a chance that, uh, ooh, that was lucky. You can get a deal with the devil where you can trade your, um, heart containers for powerful items, sometimes. A lot of the better items in the game, that's how you get them. So... Okay. This will be an interesting floor. So we just have to dodge these guys. I'll come down here and dodge him. Okay. You should just fight him like this. And like that. Okay. So yeah, you can, you can trade your heart containers for uh, damage upgrades, the ability to fly over enemies. Which is useful for, I'd hope, pretty obvious reasons. Alright, so we don't really need that. Oh, almost walked into there. Come over here. We still need to find that. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Oh, God. That was bad. These guys are just. Okay, so a small rock has appeared in the basement. That happened because I think we blew up like 50 rocks. Um, a small rock comes out of tinted rocks, and it can give you uh, a damage up with a little bit of slowdown for. Oh, there we go. Will make me feel a little bit better. It gives you a damage up while it slows you down a little bit, so it's not bad. Two bombs for a bomb isn't terrible. Come in here, skeleton key, so an item I really didn't need. We now have 99 keys. So, yeah. We need a heart contain. Oh! Oh, Jesus. So that wasn't good. I'm getting rolled here. So this is like a little boss we're fighting here. Oh, Jesus. So he's not that hard, it's his freaking friends here that are shooting at me at the same time. Oh, okay, this is... This, these guys are exactly like the uh, laser dudes, except they fire a dude that goes out, so... Ah, I didn't kill him in time. So they're a little bit easier to handle, because they take a little bit longer to get to you. However, there are still a lot of them, and you have to pay attention to all of them at once, otherwise you will get hit. So we did get a heart out of that, but it took a little bit of damage too. So this is another mini boss. I'm finding a lot of mini bosses here. Okay, Jesus. 
These guys, when you kill them, they split into these little... This is another type of worm. It'll charge at you instead of spit at you. Oh, god. Okay, so... Managing to do some decent evading here. As I almost take damage. Not out of the woods yet. Doing okay. So I don't want to... You can walk sideways, but I'm not going to risk it. We'll just blow those out of there. And we haven't found the secret re uh, room yet either, so we will go looking for that here. Right now. Nothing. There's two more places it might be. I tried to look for the... There we go. Yeah, the rooms that are surrounded on three sides. And Unicorn Horn. Perfect! Um, this item, when I activate it, will play the funky little tune for me. And then I will become invincible. So, it's good stuff. Yeah, okay, yeah, I was gonna check the shop one more time real quick. See if it had a heart in it. Um, has a sphere of hearts, we will grab that. And <laughs> we're definitely not gonna grab the key. Um, we don't really need to go over to that thing since we do have the spirit heart, and we do want to save our unicorn horn for whichever boss we're fighting here. Um, let's find out who it is. So it's the Mask of Infamy. This guy can be a little annoying. Basically, there's this heart that I have to kill. This is uh, actually the only boss in the game that doesn't have a health bar, I think. So we're not quite sure how close we're getting to him. But yeah, the mask will fly around. It's pretty much its only form of defense. It can shoot some attacks at me. Oh, like that, I got. That was bad. So now he's mad. We'll activate the unicorn horn, just run into him a few times. Hopefully we'll be able to kill him. Ah, we did some damage. And now you have to hit him in the back. Oh, God. So he turns really well. As you can see, there's like a little dude in the back there. Um, this guy's actually a uh, Castlevania character. Is a shout out to him. Oh god. <sighs> Hitting him every once in a while here. There's gotta be a better way to do this. Oh, Jesus. Let's try a bomb. It's not working at all. Whew, this guy turns like freaking crazy. So we'll see if I can if I have the technical skill able to defeat this guy. Hopefully I do. Jesus. There must be a better way to beat this guy, I'm just not doing it. So we have Spoon Vendor. Jesus. Just keep face checking into him. Okay, Jesus. We finally got him. That was way harder than it should have been. So we did get uh, Squeezy, which gives us tears up, which is fire rate, and two spirit hearts. So we'll continue down to the next floor. Um, space for items also charge at different speeds. Um, because we have the battery, it'll charge. If the floor or if the fight goes long enough, oh Jesus! Twice a room, and then once when we beat it. Oh God! Um, and then yeah, once we beat it, some items will charge fully. Some will get two. Some will get three. Usually depending on how good they are. Um, ah! I am not playing very well. I've already lost those two spirit hearts on the first room. Need a lot of red hearts here, I think. Nice if we had a little bit more damage. So yeah, these things will just fly at us when they see us. Like really aggressive forms of those ooze guys, or the uh, silkworms. I think they're actually an evolved form of those little worm dudes. So we'll grab this, and we'll go up. Speaking of the ooze guys... Uh, yeah, the beginning is probably the most difficult, although these guys... I don't have any of the super ones, so this will be pretty easy. I can just straight up avoid these dudes. So we're gonna wanna find we're gonna wanna find the secret room before we mess with the arcade. Oh, we're almost after full health, that's really lucky of us. These brain guys are a pain. Um, they're actually not too bad unless you fight them in group. Like this. Um, you can't step on the creep they leave behind or you take damage. 
and on certain layouts they can force you to take damage. If you have flying, you can fly over their creep, so they become essentially useless, but I don't have that, so... Oh god, I can't believe I took damage on this floor. In this room. Ah! So these guys have to rotate around whatever they're touching. Oh, I didn't even finish them. God. Stupid, stupid damage here. So... I probably could have avoided all of the hits I took here. I would have just stayed here. Just let them roll around and just finish them off when they drive by. I guess another bomb, that's good. And that's the boss room. I don't want to go there yet. Um, uh, Unicorn Horn is charged, so that's nice. I probably should have used that on this last room. That guy, if you give him money, will sometimes give you items. That's not worth it yet. These are zombies, um, kind of like the, ask the Mask of Infamy that we just fought. Um, we're going to go ahead and do this. Just because I didn't want to deal with that. Like you saw what I did against that. Oh, okay, that was weird. These guys are a pain. I'm getting my butt kicked. When you kill uh, either the head or the body, they turn into the other one. That guy's twitching over in the corner. Uh, sometimes when you hit their head as it's coming off to you, it has some weird interactions. These guys in general just have weird interactions, like the way your tears hit them. It's a pain. So. Alright, so he's dead. We will blow this up to get this heart. I feel like that's a decent grab. Still two away from full, but that's okay. I have faith we'll get there. And we really need to find the item room here. Uh, wait, we have 99 keys. What am I thinking? It's counting my bombs. Yeah, that's totally worth it. I have 99 keys. So, grab that. Sure, why not? I'll even, I'll even get a key out of that one. I have 96 keys. Or, uh, keys now. Yeah, there's, there's nothing I'm going to use all those on. It's simply not going to happen. It's not worth it. I was thinking about shooting a bomb in there, but we only have three bombs, so that's really not a good effective use of our... This will be a much easier room than the first time I fought these guys without those spikes up there. Little... Ah! As I say that, I still take damage. Garbage. Okay, there's a bomb in there, but we can't do anything about it. Now, I'm sure I won't take damage here. I can almost offer a promise of you for that one. have to not make a horrendous mistake. There we go. And we get another bomb. Fantastic. And another room. This will be a little bit tricky in the beginning because we'll have, we have guys going around the edges so I have to watch my positioning a little bit, but it's not such a big deal. Let's kill this guy next. Come down and fight this guy. Yeah, this, uh, this game is actually pretty difficult. It may look pretty easy. But, I assure you, it is another greed? I didn't know I could fight two greeds. Oh well. So, ah! Oh, my little fly is protecting me there. God, this greed has a lot of range, too. I think that's another hit my fly stick for me. God, what a dick. I didn't think I could fight two greeds here. That's really annoying. Oh! Pretty decent dodge. Um, yeah, I was hoping to really spend my money there. That's... No, don't need that. So why not? We're gonna clear out basically this whole room looking for. Oh god. Oh, can't believe this room's gone as well as it has so far. Yeah, that was a really tough room. I'm really glad the moon takes me to the secret room, I think. Oh, okay, that went really well also. So we're gonna open this up. And, uh, miter? I think that makes it so I find more of those special looking hearts. I'm actually not sure what the moon does. There's uh, the sun, the moon, and the stars, and they all do something different. Um, as far as teleportation, one takes you to the one takes you to the secret room, one takes you to the item room. And yeah, I feel fine coming in here. Just blow everything up. A bit of heart there. Yeah, one takes you to the oh nice, it's fair. One takes you to the boss room, one takes you to, or uh, the the item room, secret room, and shop. 
So, I've already been to everything, so I don't need to use it on this floor. I could maybe use it on the next one if I need to. And we do have our Unicorn Horn charge, so this boss shouldn't be too hard. Oh! This is the end, actually. We're fighting Mom. Okay. Well, that got away from me. Quickly. So this is the, uh... Last... Oh, God. I really need to pay better attention. This is the last boss of, uh... The game. For right now. After we beat the game a few times, we unlock more bosses. Uh, we get to fight Mom's Heart, and then later some other things. Like uh, Satan, like I said earlier, who I had gotten to twice, but never beaten. So we'll see if we can uh, beat Mom's Heart here. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and try to do as much as we can while we're invincible. And that was pretty good, so we've got four hearts to kill Mom here. She's got about a fourth health. I think even I can probably pull this off. Uh, I gotta watch out for all these dudes that are kind of chilling here. We plant a bomb. Mom kicked it away because she's kind of a bitch. So we'll just keep on shooting. Ah, okay, so now we get a little bit into the danger zone. And she can't hurt her own enemies, as you saw there. Okay, so we've got about two hits left in if we to lose this thing. And we managed to win as long as that bomb doesn't kill us. So shut up. His mother, fueled with the desire to serve her god, was bearing down on Isaac. I will do as I am told, my lord. I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. So yeah, there's a little bit of a a story element to this game. Um, it's pretty loose. I'll talk about it later. But yeah, uh, that was uh, my first run, getting back into the Binding of Isaac. Pretty sloppy. I uh, got pretty lucky there, I'd say, but uh, thanks for coming with me, and I'll see you guys uh, next time.